Hello everyone, welcome to Programming Poet, this is Aravind. Today we will be discussing a problem that was featured in Facebook Hacker Cup 2015 final round and its name is Foxblox. If you have not read the problem already, please pass this video and check this link provided here and in the description. Try to understand the question all by yourself and then revisit this video so that you can compare your understanding with mine. Ok, here we go. Today, Mr. Fox is taking it easy by playing with some blocks in a 2D world. Each block is an inch by inch square. Uh, it is highly important that we record the fact that he is playing in 2D world because volume in 2D world is area in uh, sorry, volume in 3D world is area in 2D world. So he has a block of one inch by one inch. Uh, like we discussed earlier, since the volume in 3D world is area in 2D world, we can say that um, the block's volume is one square inch or one unit in this case. So uh, moving uh, further, so there are n stacks of blocks in a row with ith stack having hi blocks for example. So let us try to uh, understand this with an example. So what they are trying to say is that stacks of blocks in a structure is defined by a discrete function uh, called h of i whose length n is defined um, by the number of stacks um, in the block in 6 in this uh, example. So i uh, as always uh, represents index or position. So let us say i is equal to 1 uh, then uh, number of blocks at location 1 is 3 uh, as defined by the function h of i. Uh, so at location 1 we have 3 blocks. Similarly at location i is equal to 2 we have 1 block therefore at location 2 we have 1 block and then at location 3 we have 5 blocks so at location 5 we have 5 blocks. Uh, similarly the entire structure can be constructed from this discrete function h of i and this function would represent a block structure similar to this. Um, and moving further. Um, so after this uh, Mr. Q also have some questions. So um, for every block structure he has Q number of questions. So let us try to uh, see what the question is. So if I were to consider only the stacks from AI to BI uh, inclusive and getting rid of all other blocks how many square inches of water would my block structure be able to hold. So uh, let us try to understand this question with an example. So Fox uh, is giving us two positions in a structure. So in this example that is uh, i is equal to 2 and i is equal to 6 so ai and bi. Uh, so what he's saying is these are inclusive and then remove all other blocks from this. So once you remove both of them how much water it can hold. So um, as one might imagine, a given square inch uh, can hold water if it doesn't have a block, if it doesn't contain a block by itself, but there is a block somewhere uh, to its left and somewhere to its right at the same height. So, um, so as like in a normal world, uh, these uh, the, the blocks that are represented in green color is the areas where it, it can hold water. Uh, and um, the blocks that are represented by red, it cannot hold any water in these locations because uh, it doesn't satisfy the conditions. Um, so the uh, answer here would be is the amount of structure this, uh, the amount of water this structure can hold from a i is from i is equal to two to i is equal to six is five units. Mr. Fox also provides us with an input file. T indicates the number of block structures that Mr. Fox has n1 the length of block structure and q1 number of questions. Uh, so h is a function used to describe the block structure and you can see that its length is of n1. Then we have q1 questions uh, with each question pointing to two positions in the block structure. Uh, and uh, like we discussed before, there are t number of such block structures with each one having a similar function to describe the block structure and a number of questions. I'm not displaying them all, uh, I'm not displaying all of them here, but under each pair there is such function and questions described by um, n and q of that block structure. So we will have t number of such block structures. It is easier to understand all of this with an example. So let us try to understand this with an example. Um, if you see the first number is 5, that is t is equal to 5. So there are 5 number of such block structures if you can see here. Uh, 
it is marked by red color uh, in the first uh, pair you have n and q that is um, n is 11 in this case so a function of length 11 is described under it uh, integers are separated by spaces and followed by the new line character then uh, we have um, q number of questions uh, q is equal to 11 in this case so there are 11 number of such questions described uh, under here uh, with each question having a pair of locations uh, pointing to a pair of locations in the block um, if you go to next block structure n is equal to 5 um, therefore we have a function of length um, 5 and describing the block structure and q is equal to 3 therefore we have uh, three questions listed below we have to process this input text file calculate the amount of water that could be stored for each question and then add them up for each case and print it in a format as shown here so here is the problem folks uh, first step is to parse this file and read data into variables conveniently for processing it uh, I will discuss this in my next video until then you guys take great care I am your fan signing off from Sacramento California you guys take good care bye